Welcome to the podcast, Koala Reading AI. I am your host and the voice behind the text-to-speech model. Get ready for an exciting journey through the world of computer vision. In today's episode, we have fascinating papers to discuss. Let's begin with a brief overview of each one. Paper 1. Stable Video, Text-Driven, Consistency-Aware, Diffusion Video Editing. Our approach achieves superior editing performance compared to state-of-the-art methods with much lower complexity. Paper 2. Which Transformer to Favor? A Comparative Analysis of Efficiency in Vision Transformers. The paper provides a comprehensive analysis of transformer-based architectures for vision, including a taxonomy of efficient transformers, a benchmark of different models, and a comparative analysis of model efficiency under different criteria. The results provide valuable insights into the performance and efficiency of these models across multiple dimensions, informing the design and optimization of models for practical applications. Paper 3. TurboVIT Generating Fast Vision Transformers via Generative Architecture Search. TurboVIT demonstrates strong latency and throughput for both low latency and batch processing scenarios, making it well suited for high throughput use cases. Paper 4 Dual Stream Diffusion Net for Text to Video Generation. Our method outperforms other publicly accessible alternatives in terms of frame consistency and text alignment. Now that we have an overview of these exciting papers, let's take a deep dive into each one. We'll explore the abstract, methodology, and key results of each paper. Paper 1. Stable Video, Text-Driven, Consistency-Aware Diffusion Video Editing. Abstract. Video editing is a challenging task that requires a high level of consistency and accuracy. In this paper, we propose a text-driven, diffusion-based framework for natural video editing. Our approach solves the consistency problem of diffusion video editing by considering the concept of layered atlas approaches. We introduce an interframe propagation mechanism and an atlas aggregation network to ensure high geometry and appearance consistency across time. Our method can be easily applied to other text-driven diffusion models. We conduct extensive experiments on a variety of natural videos, which show superior editing performance compared with state-of-the-art methods. Method. Our approach is based on a text-driven, diffusion-based framework that provides high-quality natural video editing. We first build up a layered atlas approach that efficiently and effectively solves the consistency problem of diffusion video editing. We then introduce an interframe propagation mechanism that ensures high geometry and appearance consistency across time. Finally, we propose an atlas aggregation network that aggregates the information from different layers to generate the final edited video. Our method can be easily applied to other text-driven diffusion models. Results. We conducted extensive experiments on a variety of natural videos to demonstrate the capability of our approach. Our method achieves superior results with much lower complexity compared with state-of-the-art methods. We show that our approach can be used for a variety of use cases, such as changing the color of an object, removing an object, or adding an object to a video. Our approach also works well for non-rigid objects with significant structural deformation, we demonstrate the effectiveness of our approach through qualitative and quantitative experiments, which show that our method outperforms state-of-the-art methods in terms of editing performance. In conclusion, our text-driven, consistency-aware diffusion video editing approach provides a practical solution for natural video editing. Our interframe propagation mechanism and atlas aggregation network ensure high geometry and appearance consistency across time, making our approach superior to state-of-the-art methods. Paper 2. Which Transformer to Favor? A Comparative Analysis of Efficiency in Vision Transformers. Abstract. The paper, Which Transformer to Favor? A Comparative Analysis of Efficiency in Vision Transformers, provides a comprehensive analysis of over 30 models to evaluate the efficiency of vision transformers and related architectures. The authors conduct experiments under similar conditions to make the results comparable to one another. 
They provide image classification baselines for models that were proposed for NLP and a comparative analysis of model efficiency under different criteria, including the number of parameters, speed, and memory. The paper also includes a taxonomy that highlights the different ways in which transformer-based architectures can be made more efficient and an overview of efficient transformers used in both NLP and CV. The authors hope that their research will be used as a reference baseline, providing a solid foundation for further research in the ongoing efforts of developing efficient deep learning models. Method. The authors of Which Transformer to Favor, a Comparative Analysis of Efficiency in Vision Transformers, provide a taxonomy that highlights the different ways in which transformer-based architectures can be made more efficient. They also conduct experiments under similar conditions to make the results comparable to one another. The authors provide image classification baselines for models that were proposed for NLP and a comparative analysis of model efficiency under different criteria, including the number of parameters, speed, and memory. The authors also uncover a strong positive correlation between the number of flops and the training memory, which enables the estimation of required VRAM from theoretical measurements alone. The authors hope that their research will be used as a reference baseline, providing a solid foundation for further research in the ongoing efforts of developing efficient, deep learning models. Results. The results of which transformer to favor a comparative analysis of efficiency in vision transformers provide valuable insights into the performance and efficiency of transformer-like architectures for vision. The authors demonstrate that a well-trained VIT remains Pareto optimal along various dimensions, emphasizing its effectiveness as a baseline model. Furthermore, the authors' findings highlight the efficiency of sequence-reducing techniques, the authors also establish that fine-tuning at a higher resolution is not an efficient strategy, as scaling the model's size turns out to be more effective. When comparing different efficiency metrics, the authors uncover the limitations of estimating computational costs solely based on theoretical metrics. However, VRAM requirements for training can be roughly estimated based on the theoretical flops of a model. The authors hope that their research will be used as a reference baseline, providing a solid foundation for further research in the ongoing efforts of developing efficient, deep learning models. The insights gained from this study can inform the design and optimization of models for various tasks. Paper 3. TurboVIT Generating Fast Vision Transformers via Generative Architecture Search. Abstract. The paper presents a new approach to generating efficient vision transformer architecture designs through generative architecture search. The proposed TurboVIT architecture design achieves high representational capabilities while greatly reducing computational complexity. The efficacy of TurboVIT is evaluated on the ImageNet 1K dataset and compared with 10 different state-of-the-art efficient vision transformer architecture designs. The comparison is based on three metrics top one accuracy, architectural complexity, and computational complexity. The results show that TurboVIT achieves lower computational complexity than all other state-of-the-art vision transformer architecture designs while maintaining the same accuracy. Method. The proposed approach leverages generative synthesis to conduct generative architecture search, GAS, to identify the architecture design of TurboVIT. Generative synthesis can be formulated as a constrained optimization problem where the goal is to identify the optimal generator G bombs, generating network architectures, and that maximizes a universal performance function. EU under a given set of operational constraints defined by an indicator function 1 or R, N. The study imposes design constraints via 1 R or R, to identify a vision transformer architecture design for TurboVIT that achieves the desired computational complexity tailored for high-throughput scenarios. The design constraints include leveraging both global attention and mask unit attention design patterns, enforcing the use of Q-pooling design pattern at three locations, and enforcing a computational complexity constraint of 2.5 GF LOPs. 
The resulting TurboVit architecture design is generated around mask unit attention and cue pooling design patterns. Results. The efficacy of the proposed TurboVite architecture design is evaluated on the ImageNet 1K dataset and compared with 10 different state-of-the-art efficient vision transformer architecture designs. The comparison is based on three metrics, top one accuracy, architectural complexity, and computational complexity. The results show that TurboVite achieves lower computational complexity than all other state-of-the-art vision transformer architecture designs while maintaining the same accuracy. TurboVite also achieves lower architectural complexity than most of the other state-of-the-art vision transformer architecture designs. The study demonstrates the potential of generative architecture search to generate highly efficient vision transformer architecture designs that achieve a strong balance between accuracy and architectural and computational efficiency. The proposed TurboVIT architecture design can be used in high-throughput scenarios where computational efficiency is critical. Paper 4, Dual Stream Diffusion Net for Text-to-Video Generation. Abstract, the Dual Stream Diffusion Net, DSDN, is a new method for text-to-video generation that enhances the consistency and diversity of generated videos. The motion is specifically modeled as a single branch that distinguishes from most existing video diffusion methods. The DSDN design includes personalized content, motion generation, dual stream transformation interaction, and motion decomposer and combiner to facilitate the operation on motion. The qualitative and quantitative evaluations demonstrate that DSDN could effectively generate videos with remarkable consistency and diversity. Method. The DSDN method constructs a two-branch diffusion network, video motion stream, as well as video content stream. The content stream runs upon a pre-trained text-to-image conditional diffusion model, but meantime is updated incrementally with a parallel network for personalized video content generation. On the parallel step, the variations of video frames, that is motion, takes a separate probability diffusion process through employing 3D UNET, so that personalized motion information could be generated. To align the generated content and motion, we design a dual stream transformation interaction module by using cross-attention between the two streams. Accordingly, the motion stream is integrated with the content stream during the denoising process, which allows each stream to serve as contextual information for the other. Results. The DSDN method generates videos with remarkable consistency and diversity. Using a cat is walking on the grass as the text input, the generated videos exhibit diversity in aspects like fur color, body shape, and pose, thereby encompassing a rich variety in content. The generated video preserves high continuity, with subtle changes in the cat's shadow and a figure in the background progressively moving, further enhancing the sense of dynamic realism. The DSDN method enables to produce better visually continuous videos, as shown in FIG. 1. The qualitative and quantitative experimental verification demonstrates that our method is robust and reliable in text-to-video generation. The DSDN method is a significant contribution to the realm of text-to-video generation as it enhances the consistency and diversity of generated videos. Thank you for listening to Koala Reading AI. Hope you had fun!